Hi ladies, I'm back again with another update for the new year. So I'm going to jump right into it because I have tons of questions and I am oh so confused. So I need your help more than ever. So let's uh, start off with where I was when I last spoke with you. Um, I had mentioned that if fertility friend hadn't detected my ovulation day by the 31st of December, then I would go ahead and test based on what my ovulation day was last month being the 21st. Um, uh, so I, uh, I always have a brain fart when I do these videos. So I tested, no, I didn't test, just kidding. Get your thoughts together, Shade. Okay, there we go. So, I was supposed to test what's going to be this Friday in two days. Um, and according to last month's ovulation day, um, that would put me at 14 DPO this Friday. Which is a good day to test. Um, but, um, it just so happened that yesterday, out of nowhere, <laughs> Fertility Friends decided to... Um, pick up my ovulation day kind of sort of it gave me dotted line crosshairs which apparently means that it's not fertility friend isn't positive that that's the day I ovulated but it you know that's just an estimate you know I don't know if I mean if you guys know what I'm talking about anywho so now I'm so confused I don't know what to think I don't know what to do um, I was going in really excited to test this Friday thinking I'm 14 DPO if it is it is if it isn't you know let's move on to the next cycle let's get the ball rolling let's get the show on the road so um, you know because if at 14 DPO I wasn't I may have tested at 16 DPO but uh, after that I would just know you know I I have a hate-love relationship with pregnancy tests. Um, I love the feeling of taking one. I hate when it's a BFN, <laughs> obviously. Um, so, I don't know what to do. Here are my symptoms, and maybe you guys can help me figure out what's going on with my body. If any of you have gone through what I've gone through and, you know, can give me a better explanation of what could possibly be going on with my body, I would greatly appreciate it. So, here goes. I have had to pee what seems like every five minutes for the past, like, more prominently, like, the past, mm, like, four days, four or five days. Um, I, I don't understand. It is ridiculous how much I have to pee. And that happened to me before, back, like, in August. Um, when I thought I was pregnant, but I had like a gajillion symptoms, like if you could list every single symptom, I probably had it, um, which is crazy. But I was also craving a lot of water back then, so it makes sense that, you know, I would pee a lot. This time around, um, I do crave water, but I could go like, let's just say five, six hours without drinking anything, and I still pee every like five minutes, like if I just drank something two seconds ago. It is ridiculous. My husband seems to think that it's pretty funny, but I don't think it's very funny. Um, I told him if I was pregnant, then I could tell myself it's all worth it. It's all worth it. But until I find out, it's pretty ridiculous, especially when you're sleeping and you're in that good deep sleep and you tell yourself, I'm going to hold it because I know I'm not even going to pee a whole lot because I didn't drink anything. But it feels like you've been holding your pee for 10 hours and you have got to go. You just have to go. There's no holding it. And then you go and it's like, ting, ting. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Anywho, so that's uh, one symptom. Another symptom is a um, right ovary pain. Um, it doesn't hurt at all. Um, it's more annoying than anything. And, and it's about this small. And I feel like, if I push it, like, you know, if I put pressure on it, um, it kind of, you know, subsides a little. But it's in my lower abdomen where I would assume my ovaries to be and it's the right side. 
Um, that was for like a week and a half. Today it's a little uh, less, well, a lot less. It's kind of like way in the background. It's really faint. Um, so that and then full breasts. Um, I'm a 36D regularly, but I feel like I'm a 36 double D right now. It doesn't bother me at all. They're not tender um, or sore. Every every once in a while, they might get, um, as I touch my boob on YouTube, um, <laughs> every once in a while, they um, can get tender uh, to the touch, but nothing um, I've had worse. So those are my main symptoms. The past two days, I've kind of had some lower back ache, um, but it doesn't hurt too bad. It's just kind of bothersome um and then also the past two days I've been really really hungry I can't get enough to eat or drink as a matter of fact I just had some chicken salad kind of like tuna salad but with chicken and um I just had a plate of it and I feel like I could go back downstairs and have another plate um and I'm really really thirsty I feel like my mouth is always dry and yeah so those are my symptoms, um, so I don't know if to go with what fertility friend is telling me um, because it's not positive, but it's if it's suspecting that I may have ovulated the 30, 31st of December, which means this Friday, instead of being 14 DPO, I'd only be whatever amount of DPO, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like 6 DPO, 6 or 7 DPO which is probably not a good time to test. So I don't know what to do. Do I test? Do I not test this Friday? Um, do I wait till next Friday? What do you think my symptoms mean? <sighs> All this good stuff in the TTC world. It sucks also because I feel like I've been going through my two week wait and now I have to put a whole nother week on top of that, which really sucks because I don't know that I can wait a whole nother week without testing. But if I test and if I get a BFN, I don't want to tell myself, oh, it's still too early and like give myself more hope. But then I also don't want to give up hope in thinking that I'm not pregnant this month. So just a lot of concerns and frustration, confusion. Um, Way to start off the new year, right? <laughs> um, something in me does feel totally different though. Um, I can't really explain it. Um, although I'm frustrated and all that good stuff, I'm actually in good spirit. Um, I don't want to say that I feel pregnant because I've never been pregnant, so I don't know what that feels like, but it's just different. Something's different. I don't know if it's just because it's a new year and I'm trying to be positive and optimistic, but whatever the case is, I would appreciate so much for your guys' uh, input and your suggestions and your comments um and advice so i will talk to you ladies uh later and i look forward to seeing all your comments bye